Okay. We have DJ Hickson doing the recording. Welcome to the closing session of BSD CAN 2024. I'd like to thank our sponsors, our bronze sponsors who helped us out. Antithesis, NetBSD, ISC, thank you. Our silver sponsors, the FreeBSD Foundation and TarSnap. Our gold sponsors include ARM. Gold sponsor, Apple. And platinum sponsor, Netflix. Okay, some boring things. Speaker receipts. Speakers, we agreed to cover reasonable transport for you. We want to pay you. Get us your receipts so we can pay you. Please and thank you. Um, those should go, you, ha you should have an email correspondence going with Travel At. Just send it there, it'll get added to your ticket. We have a ticket system this year for paying you to make sure you get paid. Because we promised we'd pay you. So let us pay you. I want to thank our papers committee. Peter Hanstein, Greg Leahy, That Lucas Dude, David Maxwell, Pamela Moshechuk, thank you, that's great. And Benedict. Dan left me in charge so I can just arbitrarily declare that I'm looking to expand the papers committee next year. I want more open BSD, I want more net BSD, and I want more, a, a better mix of users and developers across the projects. Our video team started out as Patrick, and then we got Andrew, and then we got John, and the video's courtesy of Scale Engine. So, <laughs> oh, sorry, and Albert. Family and guests. Uh, Celine was kind enough to volunteer to help out and steer spouses, parents, children towards amusing things in Ottawa, because there's lots of amusing things in Ottawa. So another boring thing to talk about, money. BSD can cost, at to the best of our knowledge, now roughly $104,000. And thanks to our sponsors and your registration fees, we brought in 112. Assuming that the GST refunds come through and that nothing horrible happens in the next six hours or so, we should have $8,000 seed money for next year, which will let us pay some deposits and such, and hopefully uh, not lean on Collins' credit card so much. Um, our goal is to have enough in the bank that we can have one year of BSD can with no revenue. Uh, not that we want to do that, but this event has become important to the community and we're gonna hope for the best and prepare for the worst. So most of the money came from the sponsors. About a quarter of it came from you. And where did it go? Well, those speaker receipts that I was just griping about, that money is spent 
bringing people here into this room so that you can talk to folks doing the cool work. Um, thanks to staying at University of Ottawa, we're able to hold the uh, hotel down pretty low. We did some work to cut the food down. Um, I should ask, after talking to lots of people, is there a stalwart defender of having the university sandwiches for lunch throughout the conference? OK, so you'd prefer that we did shawarma and such instead. Got it. I think the shawarma got the best applause of anyone. <laughs> so let, let's talk about next year. Um, come on. The, I think the convention committee did a great job. Um, and now, I can't take credit. I pushed all the work on other people. Um, we, uh, we still need volunteers to help add them out with uh, University of Ottawa and to help Michael Williams out with coordinating travel. Because there's a lot of speakers, and that's our biggest expense. Um, but I specifically uh, want to call out Graham Percival who got sucked in at the last minute, and I believe is even now packing while the rest of us are relaxing in here. So he got the scut jobs and he approached them eagerly with all the stupid crap that the rest of us forgot. Like, um, you know, someone had to move the shirts to the registration desk, et cetera. So, Thank you, Operations Committee. You busted your ass. And if you saw Collins' talk, you'll know that deputies are important because things happen. So um, BSD CAN needs to work out some kind of con chair rotation model. But since I've just been left in charge, I'd like you all to know that Patrick McAvoy, right there, is my deputy for con chair for next year, with the intent that in the year after, he takes over the gig and names his own deputy, which will not be me. <laughs> because, because seriously, this can't be the Michael Lucas show. So. Uh, Closing social event, same place as last year. Um, there's lots of windows in the front. Uh, if you are uh, worried about health and exposure, please sit by the windows and please let those folks stay by the windows. Um, Dan has graciously agreed to control the drink tickets because that's fun. Um, no music, it's quiet, a lot of talking, lots of food, lots of food. Um, if you haven't paid, throw us 64 bucks and show up. Now, I know that Callan paid them for tonight. I called Sen's house earlier to verify that they knew we were coming. Um, and nobody answered. But I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. And that takes us to the auction. So Dan, you, oi. <laughs> and he's going to need a volunteer to take notes on who won what, someone down in the front. So someone can volunteer or get voluntold. That no, that was our silent auction to raise money for a BSD CAN travel fund. <laughs> so that. New concept inspired by Europe. Yep, we, we totally stole Europe's idea. But we'd like to bring more young people who couldn't afford to come here. Um, 
If you saw Kirk's talk, you might understand why. But I don't know how often I've come to BSD CAN to see some young person who had a problem get dragged into a corner by a couple Germans, talked at for a while, and next year they came back to present. Was everyone aware of this? It was a new concept and not really hugely popularized, but there were four mugs on this planet and two bottles with stickers on them. Should we do a last chance on these or go with the numbers here for those who didn't know about it? So I guess we can go through PayPal. Uh, we have Paul Hunkestrelsma at $40. Are you here? Are you here? Can we reach out to them, program committee? We know how to find them. Cool. We have David Duncan, 35 for a bottle. Cool. OK, thank you, David. Uh, if we can either do cash or the PayPal at BSD can. John Hickson, mug. We have a mug winner in back there. We'll take care of that. We have another mug. Tom, is that a Smythe? 60 pounds? Yes, sir. Well, I know where to find you. Good, good, good. One more of these. Tom, good man. OK, OK, he's cleaning house. And somebody beat me, darn it. Sven, good work, man. OK, cool. <laughs> Great. Those are the mugs. There are no final extras. That's them. Thank you so, so, so much. So the way this works, if you get cash, you can pay up. It doesn't matter what currency, US, Euros, American, Canadian, whatever. Or we can take credit cards. So historically, we've always sold stuff that came in through lost and found. Apparently, this cable was left in 1120 or 1130. It's USB-C on this end. I think it's HDMI on this end. Anyone recognize it? 10 bucks. Ten dollars going once. Do I hear twelve? What? Twenty dollars over here. Thirty dollars here. Thirty-five. Forty. Thirty-five going once. Thirty-five going twice. Sold to Tom Tom Smith. Yep. Okay. So. Now, I'm getting into uh, nonfiction works. We have letters to Ed. This is the very last copy. It is out of print now. Um, for those of you that don't know, it's by Michael W. Lucas. And he will or he won't sign it for you, depending on your preference. <laughs> so how much did this retail for, Mike? OK, so we'll start at 10. $10, 20? 15. 15. Do I hear tw 20? 25? 25? 30? Do I hear 35 anywhere? 35? 40? Anyone want this book for 40? It's the last 40. one. 40 over here. <laughs> 45? Remember, this is all going to charity. It's going to the auto emission. 50 at the back? Oh, scratched his head, sorry. <laughs> 50 going once, 50 going twice. What's your name, please? Albert. Sold to Albert. Thank you. <laughs> now, we all saw, saw the cake. We all saw the before image. We're selling this one off. This is off the cake. <laughs> this is a photo of me in Target. I wore this shirt to tar Target. Not seen in this photograph, for your protection, is the multicolored plaid shorts I was also wearing at the time. I want to stress that I was not, I was buying the shorts, and it just happened to make a very nice, bad <laughs> photograph, which was taken, and then it's now public. So this is actually edible paper, and it Smells like icing. 
Five dollars. Ten. ten. Was that five dollars or ten? Ten. Ten dollars. Fifteen. Do I hear twenty? Do I hear 25 for me to keep it? 25 for you to keep it. 25, 30. Anyone want this for 30? 25 going once, 25 going twice. Sold to me by Michael Lucas. Thank you. Now, as we all know, that was the before photo. And this is the after photo. $30 here. What's interesting about this photo is that I was wearing that same t-shirt yesterday. And there are other photos of me in front behind the cake with the shirt on that's on the cake. So I believe we were, we, we were headed off to a, a vacation somewhere. And I have no idea why this photo got out. It's supposed to be censored. Um, Kathy betrayed you. I, I was wondering why you were contacting her on Facebook. I, 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 30 going once. 35. Do I hear 40? And to be clear, is this for you to take it or for me to keep it? Oh, it's for me to keep it. OK. 35 going once. 35 going twice. What's your name? Sold. Thank you. All right. Here we have the second last book, <laughs> Letters to Ed. For those of you that are new to BSD Can, we always do that joke. The first year, I think it was the second, la the last chocolate chip cookie and the, the brownie or something like that. But every year, there's that joke. So, what was the bid? What was the selling price for this one last time? Uh, Fifty to Albert. Fifty to Albert. So we'll start this one at twenty-five. 25. Do I hear 30? 30 over here. 35. 40? 35 going once. 35 going twice. Say your name loud. Michael Sold. Thank you, Michael. Make sure he gets that one and the other guy gets that one. All right. Here we have Linux Magazine. And there's a reason why we're selling Linux Magazine here. Because it's an old piece of paper from December 2003. It also mentions BSD, the other open source OS. And it, it shows BSD and tax on motorcycle chopper type things. So I'm going to say this is 21 years old. It can drink. It can drink in most states. 10 bucks. 30, 30 here. 35, anyone? 30 going once? Yes, 33 if we burn it. <laughs> 33 if we destroy it. Sir? 50. $50. $50 going once? Going twice? Say your name, please. Sold. Okay. Now, we have two more magazines, and they are actually much more relevant. We'll start with the oldest one first. This is September 1999 Sysadmin. It predates BSD CAN. But down here, there's an article by, you know, maintaining patch levels with open source BSDs by Michael Lucas. So probably the oldest work that you can get by Michael Lucas, maybe. Do you have anything else older in print? I have older, but not, non, not technical, non-technical. Okay. So we'll start this one at $20. It has a, still has a $5.95 sticker on it. But we'll start at $20. That's about right. $20 going once. Oh, come on. $25. 20, 25 hand up. OK. $25 going once. Do I hear $30? Oh, you almost, you almost bid on I don't. $30 over here. $35. Do I hear $35 anywhere? 35? 40? 40. 45? 45. 50? 50. 55? Sure. 60? Uh, is Michael going to sign this? I think that would lessen the value. 
<laughs> I mean, it's a pristine magazine. No offense, Michael. So somebody remind me where I was, 60? 60 if he signs it. 60. Michael, would you sign it? Um, signing it needs to be bid on separately. OK. Ooh. We'll bid, bid on separately. OK. So we're at 60s, 65? 65. 70? You can borrow money. You can pool. <laughs> it is permitted. No, no, no. You were 65, weren't you? So you got to go to 70. 75? 80? 90? 100? 110? Sorry? Hundred dollars going once? Hundred dollars going twice? Sold. <laughs> Say your name out loud. OK. So here we have another issue of sysadmin from September 2000. There's a BSD article in here, I think. Let me read here. Where is it? Oh, yes, FreeBSD's free Sys CTL interface by Michael Lucas. <laughs> David, was it you that supplied these? Mr. Maxwell? Yeah. What script did you give them out? <laughs> did, you buy, did you have these at home or did you buy these online? I have them at home. Wow. <laughs> and they're in very good condition. It's as if you didn't read them. <laughs> And right across the top here, it says FreeBSD's Sys CTL interface. So it's headline. I think it's worth much more than this other magazine. <laughs> so 25? Come on. 20, 25? Do I hear 30? 30. Do I hear 40 anywhere? 30 here? 40 anywhere else? We had a lot of success going in $5 increments, though, did 35? 30 was your bid, right? Yep. OK, 30 going once? 35. 40? 45? 40, anyone else? 45, anyone else? 40 going once? 40 going twice? Sold. OK. So we have this one, which is, I'm, I'm sort of hesitant to bring it up, but it is for sale. And it did get sold here in 2005? 2007. And it's, it's meant to be an Apache spoof. It is, it is an Apache spoof. It was drawn by George Rosemont White. Uh, at the time, it was, we were here first. I don't remember it. I don't remember this at all. Down in sight. Huh. So you, you probably can't take this in your carry on. We can do we can do shipping. So forty dollars? Forty. Fifty? Sixty? Eighty? One hundred. Anything more than a hundred? Hundred and twenty somewhere? One hundred going once? Hundred and twenty down here? Hundred and twenty going one forty? One thirty? Do you hear one forty anywhere? One thirty go one forty? How about <laughs> How about 150? 150 going once? No, sorry. 140 was your last bid. So 140. Do I hear 150 anywhere? 140 going once? 140 going twice? 150 in the back. OK, 160, anyone? 160? 150 is the bid? 160. 170, sir? We've got to move faster. My arm's getting sore. <laughs> Thank you.
I forget what it was. 160? 170. 180? 175. 175. Yeah. OK. 180? 175 going once, 175 going twice. Sold. Okay. That's all the stuff in there. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is the book called Savaged by System D. <laughs> and it says right here, an erotic Unix encounter. Oh. Ray, I hate you. <laughs> It's a book by Michael Lucas. The price in the back is $8, so obviously this has got to start at 20. 20 here, 30? 40? 40? 50? 40 going once? 40 going twice? 50? 60? 60 here? 70? 60 going once? 60 going twice. If you've never read, read this, the first I heard of it was a read through. Where, Whoa, where was that? Con. Free BSD con? V BSD con. There was, a, there was a reading. Imagine a bunch of people sitting around a boardroom table hearing dramatic readings of this. <laughs> it was. From this book, when they really annoyed me. So it has been used as a punishment. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've lost the plot here. <laughs> who, who had the latest bid? It was. And how much was it? 70 or 80. So, uh, okay, 80. 80 going once, 80 going twice, sold. Thank you very much. Okay. That's clearly going to be a signed copy, right? No, no. I bid ten dollars to not sign it. <laughs> so I'm going to sell these. Thirty to not sign it. I'm going to sell these two together, uh, breaking the trend of selling the first and the second and last and stuff. This is IPv6 for a world without A records. Matt, was it Max that sent these in? They're pens. Yes. Each or per? We'll do it for both. So 20. Do I hear 30? 30 here. Do I hear 40? 30 going once, 30 going twice. Oh, over here, we have 40, $40. Do I hear 50? 50 here, 50 going once. Do I hear 60 anywhere? 50 going once, 50 going twice, sold. Uh, are these as a set? Yeah. OK. Oh. Do these go with them? Uh, no. <laughs> They're all separate. OK. We have the three copies of the book of PF. Are these the first, second, and third editions? Sorry? Sold as a set. And they're nicely wrapped, too, as you can see. So if you use PF, you want these. If you don't, you can collect them and sell them for inflated prices on the internet. So three books, we're bidding for all three, and we're going to start at $30. $30, anyone? Oh, 30 I should learn how that works somewhere. You really should. <laughs> Th this guy is allegedly the free BSC maintainer of PF. Uh, so $30 here, $40. So cold. For $50, anyone? 50 No, you you were on 40 too. So 40 Anyone else? $50? <laughs> 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 
100? 110? Uh, sure. 120? 120? 140? He wins, so I guess I'll never know how it works. <laughs> 120 going once, 120 going twice, sold to Tom. Now, I have two items here. Does anyone know what this keychain is? It looks like a keychain of some type. From from where? Ansix. Uh, Amsterdam oh, Amsterdam Internet Exchange. Does it come with the thank you for flying Swiss chocolate? Uh, that's another one. Okay, we'll sell that <laughs> separate. Okay, keychain, five bucks. Who wants it? Five. 10? 20? 20? 25? 25? 30? Yeah. 35? Okay. No? Okay. Yes or no? Yeah. 35 going once, 35 going twice, sold. Thank you. OK. I believe this is the second last item that we're auctioning off. It is, thank you for flying Swiss chocolate. I can't see the weight or anything. It's milk and hazelnuts may contain other tree nuts and soy. Pardon? I don't know. It's new. Okay, so a dollar. Anyone, a dollar? One, five over here. Six. Six. Ten. Ten. Twenty. Twenty. Thirty. Fifteen. Thirty. It's real Swiss chocolate. Real Swiss chocolate. Thirty-five. Thirty-five, <laughs> 35 going once. Forty over here. Forty. Fifty. Fifty here. Fifty. Do I hear fifty-five? Fifty going once. Fifty-one fifty <laughs> over here. Fifty-one fifty-two. <laughs> The next bid will be 55. <laughs> 51, 52, going once, going twice. Of course, you have to round up when you pay. <laughs> Sold. Thank you very much. So, the last bid has maple leaves and Canadian flags. It's a multi-pack enhanced PE sheets. I don't think that describes what's in it. But it's a square box, nine holes, five maple leaves, five Canadian flags. Oh, that may be what it is. With a spare. But it means you have the same number each, five each. Ten bucks. Yes, it is wood. Twenty. Twenty here. Do I hear thirty? Thirty back here. Do I hear forty? Thirty going once. Thirty going twice. Sold. Thank you very much. Guy in the back. Is that everything, Mr. Lucas? I well, think it is. Yeah, but don't go anywhere. So before I tell you all to run to dinner, wow, this may be the shortest closing ever. Um, we all thanked Dan at the opening for setting up BSD Can, and you know, I got to swoop in at the last minute and take credit for 20 years of his work. Uh, however, there is, while well, buying him drinks is lovely, and. Yes. And he's got the drink tickets, so you still have to be nice to him. <laughs> something that, what he really needs is something that lasts. Which would be, oh, Dred, I meant to auction off a price list. Do you want to auction that quick? Okay, what is this? Price it's my handwritten book price list because I was too dumb to print it out before I came. Michael Lucas's price list for all the books he was selling today. 
handwritten by the author, including error of corrections, <laughs> changing from Saturday to Sunday because he thought today was Sunday, but it's actually Saturday. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. What? If you. All prices for signing are negotiated after. Yep. yep. <laughs> ten dollars. Who wants this for ten? ten sorry. Twenty. Thirty. Dollars here. Thirty dollars here. Do I hear 40 anywhere? 30 going once, 30 going, 40 here. Do I hear 50? $40 going once, $40 going twice. Sold, thank you very much. Okay. We, we really wanted to give Dan something that would last, like a doorstop. And this will wedge nicely under any number of doors, and it will serve to level tables. And uh, I'd like to <laughs> read this to you. Dan Langell, for founding the longest running BSD conference and volunteering to run it for two decades, the open source Berkeley software distribution community recognizes you for service beyond the bounds of reason. <laughs> May we all improve the world as much as you have. BSD CAN Committee, 1 June You may know that we waited until after the auction to give that to him, because otherwise it would be, who's got 10 bucks for my plaque? <laughs> so yes, that's real wood. So it, you know, you can wedge it under the door and it'll be good for years to come. So. Goodbye. Safe travels, be healthy, be SD. Thank you. <laughs>